Our session looked at two particular classes of um, oncogene-addicted non-small cell lung cancer. They included the epidermal growth factor receptor mutation population and the ALK uh, rearrangement mutation population. And within the session, we uh, d discussed and covered the data around the first-line treatment agents, including in the EGFR setting, uh, erlotinib and gefitinib, and then with the ALK rearrangement, we covered crizotinib. And we went through how these agents were identified, uh, how they were tested in the clinical situation, and how they should be optimally used in the care of patients. Uh, in the EGFR session, we then discussed the use of the second generation uh, irreversible pan hair inhibitors, uh, focusing on aflatinib, but also mentioning dacomitinib, uh, which is still coming through, and then moved on to the third generation uh, agents. And our sense at the moment is that the uh, management of patients with EGFR mutation positive disease should be first line, followed by, if available, the third generation agents. So first or second line, followed by the third generation. Um, but there are also some very interesting developments in this area in our understanding of relapse even after third generation agents are administered. So we discussed the options of targeting the apoptosis factor BCL-LX and BCL-2. We discussed targeting the RAS pathway. We discussed targeting the EMT pathway and came to the conclusion that in the future, we really are going to be moving towards personalized medicine for the individual patient based on next-gen sequencing. The same also applies to the ALK population where it's clear now that the second generation agents like the, second, the third generation in particular in EGFR have, um, are very active in the relapse setting, maybe more active than the first generation agents in the first line setting, have certainly got better CNS penetrance. And in the treatment paradigm, at the moment, for most patients, it would be first generation crizotinib. If patients develop uh, relapsing disease, particularly in the CNS, that can be treated locally with surgery, radiotherapy, or it could be treated with the new second generation agents. And again, we're seeing relapses after you know, the second generation agents, and we think, again, the precise administration of drugs targeting those abnormalities as they emerge will again give rise to this personalized medicine for the individual.